Hey everyone, how's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you another episode of Coffee with Coach. Hope you're up doing well. Got the mind in the right place. If not, as always, let's put it in the right place. So um, it's February 1st, 2022. Uh, just finished up that first month of the year. Where are you um, with your goals? How closer um, did you start? Did you get moving? Did you, did you make some uh, things happen? Did you take that first step? Or are you like, you know, hit the ground running once the new year hit. Um, kind of brought this up because um, I want to talk about uh, why white belt is the hardest belt to achieve in jiu-jitsu. Um, and some would kind of question that because some of the other belts in jiu-jitsu are really hard to achieve. You know, blue belt's really tough, purple belt's really tough, brown belt, and of course your black belt. Um, you know, it's a long journey and those are all each belt, you know, your, you know, year and a half, two years, depending on where you're at, um, could take you to get that, um, that new belt. You're talking, um, you know, just all the things that it takes to get through mentally and physically to achieve a belt. But the white belt, the white belt is the hardest belt to get in jiu-jitsu. And here's the reason why. So many people are thinking or thought about trying jiu-jitsu, want to get started, want to make a change, want to make a lifestyle change. They're tired of running on the treadmill, running outside. They're tired of lifting weights. It's monotonous. It's not really getting them anywhere. Um, they're looking to just improve their, their overall health, get around some different people, like-minded people. But they have yet to make that actual move to make it happen. And so until you actually come in and make that decision, wherever you're at, whether it's my academy or uh, wherever you're at when you're watching this, wherever city you live in, um, the white belt is so hard to get because so many people just procrastinate and just take their, they just never make the jump. They never make the move. They never, they never, they, they're thinking about it. Like I have literally hundreds of people that I've talked to over the years that I've been teaching jujitsu. Um, when they say, man, I should have did this a long time ago. I don't, I wish I started two years ago or three years ago. I don't know how many people told me where I drive by this place, which they're talking about my academy. I drove by it for six months before I pulled into the parking lot or I drove by it for an entire year. Like, like literally, like these are what I've been told in the past. You know, I drive by this place, place every day on the way to work or on the way home from work or on the way to wherever. And I just always thought about doing it and I wanted to do it and I just never did it. And then when they decide to do it, you know, they, they overcome that fear of whatever, or they just finally make that decision of, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go in there and just check it out and see if it's for me. And then they come in and sign up and then they meet all these new friends and they start making um, all these lifestyle changes for the better. Their health's improving. They're losing weight. They're just they're learning a new skill. Um, learning how to defend themselves or just everything about jujitsu, all the great benefits. Um, they're always kind of going back in their mind like, man, I should have just pulled in the parking lot a lot sooner. I should have just came in a lot sooner. I get that all the time, all the time, because why is just what we do as humans? Like we think about things too much. We overanalyze things too much. We're just, we want to do something. We just never really, you know, pull the trigger, so to speak. And just make things happen. I'm guilty of it too in a lot of things. Um, you know, it's just, again, it's just what, what humans do. We just overthink too much. And when it comes to, um, you know, some of our decision making, we just need to make it happen a little bit faster. And when it comes to jujitsu, uh, it's a great thing. Okay, so I'm really talking to like all those people out there that are just kind of on the fence or they've thought about it. Um, you know, they see their friends doing it or they see videos pop up or they, they watch the UFC or, or however jujitsu came across your mind and you just haven't actually made the decision to call or just walk into an academy yet to go see what it's about and try a free class. Most places, you know, have free classes, free trials to see if it's a right fit for you. We do. We do 30 days free. Um, you can take that option or some people just sign up after the first or second day because it's like, yeah, this is this is what I'm looking for. This is what I want. So, you know, once you make that decision to come in and see what we can you know, offer you and how we can help you, um, 
then everything starts to fall into place. You know, again, the other belts, they're hard to get. They are that, that first, that first belt, the blue belt, uh, the first colored belt. Okay. White belt is the first belt, but the first colored belt, which is the blue belt, it's tough to get because you're going to go through, you know, this learning phase of just not knowing what to do. And, and you're just using strength and not using really much technique in the beginning. And you're just using instinct instincts, um, because you just don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you don't know. It's not your fault. It's just, it takes time to develop those skills. Um, but you can't get to that first, uh, colored belt, which is the blue belt until you actually get your white belt. And uh, there's a lot, a lot of people, there's way more people out there that haven't achieved their white belt yet versus those that haven't gotten their blue belt or their purple or their, even their black belt, because, there's so many people that just want to do it, thinking about do it, doing it, their friends doing it. They're, they, they're seeing the changes in their friends or whoever, family members that are doing jujitsu. And they're like, just overthinking it too much. Just come in, just come in. Like it's just going to completely change um, your life for the better. You know, I, I have students that literally make posts like Facebook posts or Instagram posts or whatever. And it makes me feel good. It makes me feel really good when I see a post that said, um, best decision of my life. You know, like we get those kind of posts or those kind of uh, reviews on Google or, or, or Facebook or something like that. And it's a great feeling because we know that we can change people's lives. We know what we can do for people. It just, we need those people to come in so that we can actually do it. And that's just how it works. And then once you come in, you start working your way through the system, understanding how jujitsu works. And then you can start helping people because there's someone always, there's always going to come in. Someone's going to come in, you know, after you, and they're going to be in the same position that you were in. You're going to know what that position feels. You know what that position feels like, you know what they're going through, what they're thinking, what their thoughts are. And you're going to kind of take someone under their wing and kind of help them out. And that's just the cycle of life in jujitsu. It's like, you always kind of like pay it forward. Like, cause you remember, or at least I do, I try to remember, try to remind my students all the time. Like, Hey, don't forget, you know, what that first day felt like or that first month or those, those first two months, you know, um, you know, we just have, uh, I'll give you an example. We just had a, one of these, um, uh, a new student sign up and he has a, a wrist injury. Okay. From a previous encounter that he had as a car accident. Um, and so he's really worried, like, can I do this? And I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to go backwards and have to like deal with, you know, rehab and all this other stuff. And so, we're working him into the system. Everyone knows. I let everyone know. Hey, look, when you roll with so and so, like we gotta take it easy because his wrist. So we're just kind of moving around. We're getting him acclimated. We're getting him until his wrist is a hundred percent and he feels comfortable. Um, you know, training a hundred percent. Then we're gonna work with him and keep him learning and, and developing his skills until uh, we can actually go a little harder with the rolls or go live live grappling. Um, but we're, we're there to help that individual out until he feels comfortable till he can actually do the rounds. Uh, because we get that question all the time too. Like, like, well, I have a, a herniated disc or I have a, a knee injury or I had a, a shoulder surgery or I had a, you know, in this instance, a wrist injury, whatever it is, um, you know, we can help you or any academy can work around those injuries and get you started and get you moving. But you, you can't, um, get your white belt until you actually come in and you can't get the other belts until you actually come in. And obviously the black belt, which is the ultimate goal, um, doesn't stop there, but that's the ultimate goal is to get the black belt. Uh, so the white belt to me, in my opinion, is absolutely the hardest belt to achieve because it just takes like self doubt or again, just being nervous or scared, or you just kind of the unknown of what it's like. You're just like, man, jujitsu guys, you think jujitsu academy, everyone just thinks like we're just killing each other in there and beating each other up. Um, I mean, we do that in, in some instances, like we, we love to train hard, but that comes like way later. Like once you understand how jujitsu works and you, you develop a certain skill set to where and trust, in your teammates to where you know that you're not going to hurt them and they're not going to hurt you, but you can actually go as hard as you want and get a really great workout in, um, you know, but again, that, that, that takes time. But in the beginning, it's, it's a process. It's just, but we got to get it started. We actually, we got to get you in the door. We got to get you in there to show you that we can, what we can do for you. So, 
Uh, again, whether you're in my area, anywhere close to me, or you're in another state somewhere and you're thinking about trying jiu-jitsu, again, it's February 1st, 2022, and maybe you wanted to start it right at the new year and you just let this first month go by and pass you by, or let's just say any goal, okay? Because I'm a big health and fitness guy. I am big on people's um, health and fitness and their well-being, especially with COVID and that whole thing going on, man, it's attacking people's immune system. And if you have a weak immune system, it's coming to get you, man. And it's just going to be really bad if you do get it um, versus people that have a, a stronger immune system. How do you have a stronger immune system? You eat healthier, better foods. You take better care of yourself, get some cardio and some weight training, be active, um, you know, get outside more in the sun, you know, go for walks, you know, get some natural vitamin D and just uh, take care of your health. So whether it's jujitsu or whatever else it is, you got to get started. Get your white belt in whatever. Okay, let's say it's your finances because I'm big on finances. Like I'm big on people's credit scores and their budgets and, and, you know, can they pay their bills on time? Because I have a lot of students that don't do that. Because why? Because they just weren't taught. They didn't have the resources or the parents, not that they're bad parents, just the parents didn't know. And so they didn't pass that down to their kids and teach them how to manage their money. And they didn't teach you that in school. I know I wasn't taught that in school. So, um, you know, maybe this is the year, not maybe, but it should be to have your finances in control and get your white belt and like getting it under control because it's out of control. Because if your finances aren't in order, your life's a wreck. Like, and you're, you're putting a burden and a stress not only on yourself, but your family members or whoever else is around you because you just, not having money in order sucks. It really does. It, it's just, it's, it's not a good feeling. It's always a stressful feeling to like be behind on your bills and stuff like that. Um, so get your white belt in your finances, getting them in order. Or like I said, to me, the main, the first thing is the most important thing is your health. You know, if you're telling, you're telling yourself, this is the year I'm gonna get in better shape, not trying to look like some magazine, you know, fitness muscle guy or something like that or girl. It's just you want to be in better shape and be in better health. Then you got to take that first step and actually make those things happen. Get rid of the foods that aren't going to help you um, get there. Throw those things out. Throw them in the trash. Get them out of your refrigerator. Get them out of your pantry or your cabinets. And make the moves to get that white belt and then go through your other belts, so to speak, in your health and fitness and your finances or whatever it is that you're trying to do in life, um, enough's enough. Enough of the procrastination, overthinking, sitting back, waiting for something, whatever it is to happen. Um, the goal is just for people to do good. You know, it really is. It's, it's, it's the more people are doing good. I think the, the world and the, this place around us or whoever your atmosphere is, is going to be better. And it starts with you. Okay. So if you want things to change, then you need to make those changes and make those first steps in getting your white belt in whatever it is that you're doing, okay? So I'll leave it there. I gotta get up to the academy, get a little workout in before classes start. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll catch you guys on the next one. We'll see you.